Hello, dear friend. <clears throat> this is Ewell Humphreys. I'm speaking to you a few minutes from a, from the Bible, a short message, about ten minutes, and may God bless it to the hearts of those around the world. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. It's all of God. To God be the glory. And I, I see here in Psalm 119, verse 54, it says, The word of God has given me songs in the house of my pilgrimage. The word of God has given me songs in the house of my pilgrimage. And I want to speak unto you the fact that <clears throat> the Bible, the word of God, produces singing. The Bible produces songs. And we need to learn to sing. Sing because you belong to God. Sing belong because Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Sing because you're born again and you belong to God. Sing because you've got something to sing about. God loves you. The Lord will never leave you. And he's going to bring you through every time of trial and trouble. And he's going to make you stronger and lift you up and help you know that he is there. <clears throat> And His grace is always sufficient. And so trust Him now and learn to sing. It's important. Oh, it's important to sing. It's important because we're on pilgrimage in the house of my pilgrimage. This is not our home. We're a traveling home. Heaven is our home, Christian. I'm talking to you that are Christians. Heaven is home. This is not our home. This world is not our home. We're on our way home. Amen. That means we must not focus all of our attention upon things down here. We need to look over yonder where we're going home forever. <clears throat> we will be with God and, and walk in love with God and with one another forever. And so it's important. I am a stranger here within a foreign land. My home is over there. Beyond the golden strand, ambassador for Christ, in realms beyond the sea, <clears throat> I'm here on business for my king. This is the message that I bring, a message angels fain would sing. Oh, be ye reconciled in God's own will and way. Oh, be ye reconciled today. Amen. Oh, praise God. Learn to sing. Learn to sing, oh, as a group. And that's always oh, important to sing as a group because it will help and bless and worship God. This is one of the things that's so important about a, your church service is the singing. And it's a wonderful part of worship when you stand together and sing together <clears throat> the wonderful words and songs of, uh, that magnify the Lord. So learn to go to church and sing with God's people. It helps them, it'll help you, and it'll please God. <clears throat> and that's what happens when you sing. Number one, you please God with your singing. So be sure you're singing the right songs. You please God with your singing. And then you, you help others with your singing. They're glad to hear you sing sometime and it'll strengthen and encourage them. Sing instead of complain and it'll do more good for others and then it'll help you. You can't sing about something and worry about it at the same time. Learn to sing the good old song. Keep on singing, Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me. Let me hide myself in thee. <clears throat> Sing because God, word says, it make us to sing songs. Amen. And it's a good thing to sing. <clears throat> I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. <clears throat> His eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. Amen. <clears throat> That great God who made the world knows when a little sparrow falls. <clears throat> In his eye that's on the sparrow, his eye's on you. He cares for you. He loves you. He knows where you are right now. He knows what's happening, and he's there to help you say, I'm here. You're not alone.
praise the Lord. And we sing to a great, good, and holy God. We sing because it helps you to sing. It'll make you feel better when you sing. You can't worry about something and sing about it at the same time. Just sing, sing often, often sing. Keep on singing because it's this wonderful thing. Consider what God has done for you, how he loves you, how Christ went to that cross for you, how he rose again and he's coming back. Learn to sing <clears throat> because the Bible says that the word of God produces songs in the house of my pilgrimage. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I will sing of my Redeemer and his all wondrous love for me. How he, oh praise God, left his home in glory for the curse he set me free. Sing, oh sing of my Redeemer. By his blood he purchased me. And on the cross he sealed my pardon, paid the debt, and set me free. Praise God. I praise God. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing. Oh, praise the Lord. The wondrous love of Jesus. And I thank God for that, that we can sing together that love. How he lived and how he died for us. Rose again. Amen. Days of darkness still look over me. Faint was I from many a fall. Sight was gone. Fears possessed me. But he freed me from them all. Yes, I sing the wondrous story of the Christ who died for me. I sing it with the saints in glory gathered by the crystal sea. Amen. So learn to sing. Learn to sing because God loves you. Learn to sing because you love him. Learn to sing because many others love you. And learn to sing because you love them. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Let love be the foundation of your song. Praise God. Amen. Now, if you need to pray a prayer and be sure you're going to heaven as best you can according to the word of God, pray a prayer like this and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me upon that cross at Calvary. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Amen and amen. <clears throat> Find you a good church and worship God with his people. And may the Lord bless you now and always. May your hand be in his hand. Know that he loves you and I love you. Keep going. For God is going with you. Amen and amen.